what examples are there of RIC working together uh, rather than simply being independent actors allied in the support of an anti-American nation? The relationships between Venezuela and our foreign adversaries, such as China, Iran, Russia, presents uh, perhaps the greatest security threat from within our hemisphere. The strongest security partnership, however, that Russia has within Latin America is that of Venezuela. Russia is the regime's largest arms supplier, with upwards of $11 billion in arms sales over the past two decades. With respect to Russia, Iran, uh, China, Cuba, and Venezuela, I mean, you're seeing kind of a, a rogue state convergence in the same manner that our sanctions regimes need to be flexible. Uh, three quarters of Russia's foreign military sales in Latin America went to five countries, right? Venezuela, Nicaragua, uh, Bolivia, Cuba, and Ecuador. Uh, Chinese credits and loans to Latin America went to the same five countries, not investments, but credits and loans went to the same five countries, and Iran signed bilateral, more than 270 bilateral agreements with the same five countries. That's a strategy. That's not coincidence, and that's not simply taking, a, you know, just random cooperation because they believe in the values or they believe in a, a, an international ally. They have a strategy. That collection of five countries has a name. They're called the Bolivarian Alliance, and that Bolivarian Alliance was set up as a surrogate network for those extra regional actors because they're the ones that propped up that alliance and allowed it to move uh, to be able to offset U.S. influence throughout uh, the Western Hemisphere. Even were those senior ranks or many more of the officer corps uh, of the Venezuelan army uh, to turn against uh, Maduro and, and uh, declare for uh, Guaido, you've still got to deal with those other forces in the country the Cubans, intelligence and security services. You've got to deal with Hezbollah, and believe me, they're trained. And you've got to deal with the ranks of the Iranians in country, which, as I said, include uh, intelligence uh, forces, uh, MOIS, as well as IRGC and Quds Force. We as Venezuelans are trying to solve the crisis, the crisis in Venezuela. But we must understand that the country is kidnapped by the extra-regional actor, namely Russia. Iran, China, and increasingly Turkey. The global powers have decided that the destruction of many will benefit of the few. And that proxy war in Venezuela is necessary to defeat the United States and the Western Hemisphere. We, Venezuelans, cannot solve this problem alone.